Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Boy, I tell you, it gets really frustrating trying to make videos. Haven't done one about Yellowstone in a while because the audio keeps screwing up. It keeps popping. It's not the microphone. Purchased a new microphone. Wires. Yeah, it's getting expensive trying to figure out what the problem is for making the updates on earthquakes and coronavirus and volcanic activity. Here they're looking at Old Faithful and the current information about what they are talking about and what they're not talking about. They are not reporting any earthquake today for the Yellowstone area. Everything has been up by um, Lima, Montana, Virginia City, Montana. Yeah, all basically up north and in this area. But there has been earthquakes going on and other activity. Here is the monitor for Grant. Uh, we got screw waves going on, harmonic tremors going on. Um, there's some earthquakes that have been marked in red that USGS is not reporting. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Look, there's three and several smaller ones there. And yeah, I got another one there. We'll look at these screw waves here. Yeah. Look at the heat coming up. 2020 is definitely a year to remember, isn't it? Boy, I hope we don't have a volcanic eruption on top of everything else that's happened this year. Here we have the tilt meter for a borehole, which is a good 500 feet under the ground. This is Norris Junction. Um, X is north, Y is east, and I've talked about this, how under the ground, the magma, probably because there hasn't been enough pressure for that cap of rhyolite to break through. So the magma has been traveling horizontally, oozing through the ground horizontally, mostly going in an eastern lead direction. X is north, Y is east, and these are all the earthquakes within the last seven days. And then if we go down to the last 30 days, showing us the uplift that's going on. And then, yeah, the trending kind of east, a little bit more northeast. You know, Yellowstone has had 40 small eruptions since its last major eruption, 300 and, what, 50,000 years ago. Here we have the Madison River. Top is north, bottom is east. Lots of dots means lots of shaking for the last seven days. Okay, and then for the last 30 days. But see, Yellowstone National Park on this map right here. They are only reporting 39 earthquakes in the last seven days. Now here we have the Madison River area. Top is north, bottom is east, and this is for the last seven days. Now on the 14th, they did report some earthquakes in this area. Right there. Uh, looks like the largest was what? 1.7, 1.5. But here you can see there's been a lot more earthquakes in the last week than what they are reporting. And then we'll go down to this area for the last 30 days. And there's two dots outside. Trending, oozing under the ground. Slowly melting, moving towards the east. Yellowstone Lake area. Yeah, constantly vibrating, breathing. Look at here, we took a dip and it rose up. And then lots of shaking going on. And then the last seven days, we got one earthquake outside of the trend going east. Now, if you looked at the ground, the ground would look like it was rising up in the north. But... The, the magma is actually moving towards the east under the ground. Look at the uplift going on. This is the last 30 days. Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. And I'm going to show you the spectrogram for that one next. Look at all the earthquakes. How can they say? How can they say? For this entire map, including way up over here, for um, Montana, only 39 earthquakes in the last week. 
How can they feed us that garbage? Each dot is an earthquake that occurred within the last seven days. And then we'll go down to the last 30 days. You can see what rising in both north and east. And look at that. Panther, which is up by the Montana border. This monitor is actually oh, kind of like up in this, this area right here. I'll pull it out a little bit so you can see. This area up here. Pull it out. There's Heben Lake. And I'll pull it out a little bit more. And then we got Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, up in this area. Lots of dots means lots of vibrations, lots of earthquakes. Last seven days. Here's the disk for the last seven days. And then we'll come down to the last 30 days showing the uplift. And there we go in the east. Norris Junction, a different borehole. Top is north, bottom is east. It's shaking. Last seven days, yeah. Bulging, but still trending towards the east. And then the last 30 days. Yeah. So here we have Grant. And we got several marked in red. They're not being reported. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Yeah, am I frustrated? Yeah, I'm frustrated that the computer recording isn't working right. Frustrated at how much it's costing me to find out what the heck is going on. I really believe it's hackers. We got another small thing there. These are all harmonic tremors. Um, yeah, screw waves, uh, volcanic tremors. This is showing you there by Grant. Yellowstone Lake. They got magma into the system. This here is borehole 950. This is, a, like I said, a very deep well. And these are the earthquakes. There was at least two um, that they didn't report. And everything's fine. Everything is absolutely okay. Just like what's going on with the, the coronavirus, right? The monitor for Moose, Moose Creek, Idaho. Yeah, everything's A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Yeah, what else is this year, 2020, going to throw at us? I certainly hope it's not a volcanic eruption. Yeah, we'll go up over here. Where, look at all these in red. Each one in red means that the computer picked up an earthquake. And the scientists are supposed to come in and review it. See what's going on and report the earthquakes. But yeah, nothing happened today. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah. So it's a short video. I keep making them and they keep getting messed up and I'm so darn frustrated. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, and I really appreciate your support, uh, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Don't wait until the last moment. Yeah, you go to the store and there's nothing there, right? Um, so what do you think? I'll thank you again. Please, please stay safe. And may God bless you all. Bye.